What's up guys? Just wanted to throw together a quick video, show you how I got the Magpul 4 end for the Mossberg 500s to fit onto my 590 with the heat shield. If anyone else tried this, you know as soon as you go to throw this on, you can't even get the barrel to go back on because the heat shield and the fore end make way too much contact. On the left side, I don't know if you can see it, but you got a scratch running right along my fore end from where the where I tried to fit the left side in because it just rubs. It comes up, the stock one only comes up to about here. So this one comes so much higher and it's thick. So it rubs there, and then on the right side, it actually touches the bottom of it. So you can't even move this down enough to slide it back into place, because it rests up on top of here. So all I did was, took a Dremel, and I went nice and slow on this side first, and just took it down little by little. It didn't have to go much. I mean, you can't even notice it when you look at it that it's a different height from the other side. So I just took this down enough so I could fit it a little more at the front than the back because it goes up, the heat shield goes up as it goes back. So take that down a little bit with a Dremel. Go nice and easy. Keep trying to fit it as you go. And then the left side, I didn't take down at all. I just kept taking layers out of the inside that goes along the heat shield little by little until I... I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but if you can, this side is a lot thicker than this side. Probably can't see it. But all I did was thin the left side out so it stopped making contact. So, I mean, as you can see, it's the Magpul 4 in on the 590. No problems at all. I took a few pictures as I went. I'll try to throw them in at the end of the video so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But basically, I just went little by little with the Dremel on both sides, like I said, and kept fitting it. Went a little more, kept fitting it. I mean, it didn't take that long, maybe about 45 minutes, but I didn't want to sacrifice one or the other. I wanted to keep the heat shield, and then after seeing this fore end, I wanted to keep the fore end too. So I wasn't going to settle for taking one or the other off. So 45 minutes with a Dremel. Take your time. No problems whatsoever.